Okay, this uh, lesson is over multiplying and dividing integers. Um, I gave you a note sheet today in class. Looks like this. Uh, this needs to be glued down on the interactive side of page 10 in your interactive notebooks. So the first thing I want you to do is take these notes. Um, the rules for multiplying and dividing integers are if the signs are the same, the answer will be positive. If the signs are different, the answer will be negative. Okay, this is different than the song that you learned for addition and subtraction. Here, if you've got uh, the same signs, your answer is going to be positive. If you have different signs, the answer is going to be negative. Now, this only works two numbers at a time. So if you were given more than two numbers, you'd have to work from left to right and follow your rule each time. Or you could remember this rule down here at the bottom. If you have three or more numbers, count the negative numbers in the problem. And if there's an odd number of negatives in the problem, your answer is going to be negative. If there's an even number of negatives in the problem, the answer will be positive. Okay? Now, some analogies that I use, um, and I'll probably talk about them in class tomorrow, is sometimes I refer to it as cops and gangsters. Cops would be positive, the good guys. Gangsters would be negative, the bad guys, okay? If you have two cops, they're going to get along, which is positive. But if you have a cop times a gangster, cops and gangsters, what do they do? They fight. And fighting, that's negative. Or if you have a gangster times a gangster, right? They're on the same side. They get along. That's positive. Other analogies that we sometimes use to help you remember is uh, love and hate. Love obviously would be positive. Hate obviously would be negative. Okay? So, if you love, love, if you love to love, that's positive. But if you love to hate, right, that's negative. But negative, negative, if you hate to hate, if you hate to hate, that's a good thing. That's positive. Okay, just a couple of analogies maybe to help you remember if you forget the rule. Um, another thing that I like to give my students is a visual. It's called the Christmas tree with a star on top. Two negatives down here at the bottom. If I'm multiplying a positive times a negative, what's left? That negative down there. My answer is going to be negative. If I'm multiplying a negative times a negative, cover those up, what's left? My answer is going to be positive. Okay? Just a couple of things to help you remember. So if I talk about love to hate or cops and gangsters, you'll know what I'm talking about tomorrow. Alright? So, come on over to the other side and give yourself teacher-student column. And we're going to do some practice problems. All right, the first one I want you to do is I want you to multiply 5 times negative 3. Now, we're going to use parentheses now to show multiplication. No more time signs because it looks like a variable, and we're starting to move towards algebra, and we don't want to use things that are going to confuse us and, looks like, and look like variables. So we're going to stick with showing multiplication this way. 5 times negative 3. I'm just going to do the multiplication. 5 times 3 is 15, and I've got different signs. 
different signs, negative. Okay? I got a cop and a gangster. They're fighting. Or I've got love to hate. That's a bad thing. Okay? Let's try negative 8 times negative 8. We'll do the multiplication. 8 times 8 is 64. And then I've got same signs, so it's positive. Hate to hate, that's a good thing. Two gangsters getting along. Okay? Let's try one with three numbers, like our notes was talking about. What if I had 9 times negative 2 times, oh, I don't know, 3? All right, you could do this one of two ways. You could just start from the left and do 9 times 2 is 18, and it's a cop and a gangster, so that's negative 18. And then 8, negative 18 times 3 is going to be, what is that, 54, and it's negative also because I've got a negative and a positive. Or you could use the counting rule. See how I have one negative number in the problem? Well, one is an odd number, so my answer is going to be negative. All right, this rule also works for division. I can do 14 divided by negative 2. Go ahead and do the division. 14 divided by 2 is 7. I have different signs, so they're fighting. Okay, love to hate is a bad thing. And I'm going to do one more. I can also show division like this. Negative 24 divided by negative 6 looks like a fraction. Fractions represent division. So think of this like another division problem. What is 24 divided by 6? It's 4. And my answer is going to be positive because it's the same signs. All right, so I'm going to give you some practice problems. Come in tomorrow having these practice problems done. And we'll talk about them in class and do some more practice. Okay, give me 6 times negative 2. Give me negative 8 times negative 12. Give me negative 4 times negative 4 times 3 times negative 2. And I'll take um, 48 divided by 16. Make that a negative 48. And down here, let's do uh, 120 divided by negative 5. All right, bring those five problems in tomorrow. Thanks.